Breaking news for the Cardano community. We've got Emergo, one of the three founding arms for Cardano, striking a major partnership with a global tech giant based out of the Asian region. As a part of today's video, I want to dive into all this news and what this means for Cardano as well as the entire blockchain and crypto space. What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. My name is Fareed. Today, I'm excited to share with you guys some breaking news when it comes to Emergo landing a partnership with a global tech giant bringing Cardano to the masses. Now, if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, then make sure to leave them down below. Jumping right on in, we've got some news with Emergo partnering up with Huawei. Now, they're a global tech and communications provider based out of the Asian region. And this is huge because they're comparable to Amazon and their AWS cloud service that they provide here within the North American region. Now, Huawei also produces phones, but we're going to be partnering up or Emergo is going to be partnering up with their cloud service arm, providing services, again, very similar to Amazon AWS. So it states here, Emergo is teaming up to extend support for a Cardano validator node on Huawei Cloud, one of the world's largest cloud computing companies. This partnership will bring Huawei's cloud infrastructure into the Cardano ecosystem and enable developers to leverage it to build innovative Web3 solutions right here on Cardano, ultimately driving growth and Web3 adoption across Asia Pacific and Africa. Backing up a little bit, Emergo's really had a huge focus within Asia and Africa. We've seen the Cardano Foundation and IOG more or less within North America and South America. So this is really huge when it comes to interoperability, providing a fair playing ground, right? Not just for developers, but also for stake pool operators. Again, with this particular service, you'll be able to deploy a Cardano node and be able to run a stake pool essentially. In addition for developers, I'll assume, right? That there could be some sort of package or discounted rate to build on top of Huawei's cloud services. Now this milestone marks the first step towards a larger collaboration between Emergo and Huawei in the future, driving the commercial adoption through validator nodes, events, and technology collaborations. One huge piece there is the fact that it's focusing on commercial adoption. So imagine how many partners, right, that Huawei already has that could potentially want to use Web3 or blockchain technology. And with this in, right, with Cardano now, they're probably going to be able to pitch Cardano as the first choice given how close their relationship will be moving forward. Again, there's been a lot, of, a lot of talk about Cardano not being adopted by retail, but it seems like from a strategic standpoint, the CF and Emergo as well as IOG have really taken an approach towards global adoption through commercial um, entities or through commercial platforms. So this is huge here, again, providing a lot of benefits, a lot of transparency, and a lot of utility, right, for people who use Huawei. Now, there is a fully dedicated article, and this is here on the official Emergo um, Press news page. And I'll just quickly touch on a key um, set of sentences, and then I want to take a look at the actual Huawei Cloud website, and then I want to do a brief comparison between Amazon's services compared to Huawei's. So again, Emergo blockchain company that drives web three adoption via the Cardano blockchain announced their partnership with Huawei Cloud to extend support for a Cardano validator node on the cloud, further strengthening the Cardano network. Now, right now, the majority of nodes or stake pools are operated on, I believe, um, platforms, for example, like AWS. I'll go ahead and pull up a graphic here, breaking down where the majority of the Cardano nodes are hosted. Uh, but we also have people that run their own sort of nodes without using any of this commercial infrastructure, right? So you've got the choice as to how you want to run your node. And this just brings an additional choice for people looking to use Huawei's services. Now, through this partnership, Cardano developers will be able to leverage Huawei's cloud expansive network and computing resources to build innovative Web3 solutions within the Cardano blockchain. This collaboration will further enhance the scalability and interoperability of Cardano's cloud services. Additionally, Cardano will gain access to Huawei's marketplace, a platform used by many leading enterprises 
expanding the reach of its Web3 capabilities. Now, why exactly is this piece huge? Well, imagine a dApp being built using Huawei services and then being immediately added to their marketplace for adoption through uh, regular or traditional end users. Again, this is a pipeline that's being laid down right now, and this is such a huge partnership. I had to go ahead and just get this video out here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, again, please make sure to smash, smash that thumbs up. It really does make a difference here. Now, in closing, it states that the um, Huawei team, right, which is made up or represented here by Rex Li Yang, is energized by the opportunity to collaborate with Umergo, which will provide them with an access to an expansive network of Web3 developers. So this is a win-win for both of them, right? They get access to Cardano developers. Cardano developers get access to their commercial partners and everyday users on their um, platform or on their marketplace. Now, in closing, this partnership will serve as a springboard for our Web3 services and will go a long way to future-proof Huawei's cloud business in the long run. Jumping over to the official Huawei cloud service website, we've got a bunch of different activities. We've got some different products here as well, which include ECS, Elastic IP, cloud backup and recovery services, um, and just a few more just to, to highlight here. Some of their solutions um, are targeted by industry, use case, enterprise solutions, and they've also got some quick starting guides there. Um, in terms of, let's see here, developers, They've got different programs. And so I would assume again that there may be some sort of partnership or discount offered to the Cardano community in order to participate in or in order to enroll in some of these services. Now, just taking a look at some of the recent articles published about Huawei, right? They've ranked at number one in China's cloud office market. They were also recently named within the Gartner Peer Insights Voice of the Customers for cloud database management systems. Again, they ranked number one as China's container software market provider for three consecutive years. So this is not a small partnership by any stretch of the imagination. This is huge for the Cardano community and Huawei. It looks like it'll be mutually beneficial for both parties involved. And in closing, I took a quick look here at some of the differences or similarities between Huawei's product and Amazon or AWS. And so just from a general perspective, I'm gonna jump into this other tab here first. We do have a little bit more ratings here for Huawei's services compared to Amazon. So I wanna start off with that, but we've got an overall score or rating of 4.9 out of five compared to Amazon's 4.4 out of five. In terms of the overall capabilities here, we've got a breakdown. So we've got um, nearly fives across the board for central management and reporting, scalability, ease of use, advanced networking, application control, et cetera, compared to about a 4.5 median here or actually a 4.3 median rating here for Amazon's AWS. Scrolling down for evaluation and contracting, again, Huawei outperforming AWS, integration and deployment winning again, service and support also topping them out as well. Again, keep in mind that they do have more ratings here. Um, so it's a very small sample size, but it does show that this is very comparable to the services that Amazon is currently providing. So if I jump back over, I'll leave the link to this article down below as well. This breaks down some of the regions. So you can see that Amazon is supported in more regions right now than Huawei Cloud, but also breaks down the pricing methods, the free packages that come with both of these services, the different types of um, architectures that can be run using their um, services or their servers, followed by the different types of machines, right? So we've got more types of machines here. However, Amazon has more instances currently available. So again, um, very comparable here. And of course, I'm gonna have to do more digging around, but from a very sort of general perspective, this seems very big. I'm a huge competitor here to Amazon within the US, but also providing access to people that may not have had the ability, right, to actually use Amazon servers in order to run a Cardano note. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. Again, I'm putting this out here as quickly as I can. Hopefully you guys did. If you did, I'd appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by DAP Central and you want more content like this breaking down, everything going on in Cardano, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me about anything I've talked about or about the recent partnership between Emergo and Huawei, then make sure you leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.